Good morning students. Today I am here with the video of chapter 7 more about scratch. Students, I hope you all are fine and safe at your home and studying well. Now, let us have a look on the chapter 7 content. And the contents are features of scratch, components of scratch, adding a new sprite, working with two sprites, setting the sprite position, setting the rotation style, changing the pen shade, changing the backdrop of the stage, playing the instruments. Children, can you tell me what is a scratch? Yes, scratch is a computer programming language. It is designed for education. It is easy to use. People of any age can use the scratch programming. No prior programming experience is required. It is visual, colorful, graphical. It is having Lego approach, which means to connect blocks together to make programs. It is fun to work with a scratch. Instead of writing text or quotes, predefined blocks are snapped together to create the script. Scratch allows playful experimenting with program segments. Scratch is easy to understand and learn. It is available free of cost. Now, main components of Scratch window. Title bar, menu bar, view full screen, stage, sprite, sprite list, backdrop icons, new sprite buttons, block menu, block cell, tabs, script area, block palette, and cursor tools. Now, moving to our main components of Scratch. First is sprite. Sprite, it is an object or graphical character that we see on the stage. It performs various actions in a scratch project. By default, the cat sprite is selected and displayed in the middle of the stage. And cat is the default sprite of scratch window. You have seen uh, in the previous slide I have told that scratch is a scratch sprite. A large orange cat. Second stage, it is the main walking area to draw pictures or perform actions. Stage is the place where sprite moves and interact with each other. It is divided into x, y coordinates, which shows the position of the sprite. Not only one sprite can be there on the stage, but we can choose more than one sprite. Several sprites can be there on the stage and we can work on that. We can make them move, we can give them the actions to do. Now, moving to our next component, Sprite List. It is located below the stage and displays the thumbnails of all the sprites that we have selected. Next is Block Palette. What is Block Palette? It contains various predefined blocks that are used to perform a specific tasks. And who will do the specific task? Sprite. Next is Script Area. The collection of stepwise instructions given to a sprite is known as a script. Script area is the place where we pick and drop the blocks to create a script. Now sprite info pane. Click on eye icon present on the top left corner of a sprite thumbnail to display the sprite info pane. It includes the information about the selected sprite as well as a few tools for manipulating the sprite. The tools include circular arrow. This tool enables full rotation of the sprite, means the sprite can move in a circular form, 360 degree. Second is linear arrow. This The linear arrow allows or enables the sprite to only face left or right, means its face will be left side or the right side. Third is disable rotation. It disables rotation, so a sprite will remain fixed at 90 degree. Now, view full screen. What is view full screen? View full screen mode or presentation mode button is located at the top left corner of the stage. Click on the button to view the presentation of your project in full screen mode. Means, if you want to see our project in full screen mode, which button will we choose? View full screen. Now, tabs. Scratch provides us with three different tabs. Scripts, Costumes, and Sound tab. All three tabs have different tasks to perform. The Backdrop tab appears only when we select the stage icon. St 
stage icon now what is a stage icon it is present at the left of the sprite list clicking this button will add the backdrop tab in place of the cartoon tab now what is cursor tools it is also a very main component of a scratch window it is located at the top of the scratch window there are four different tools to perform different operations on a sprite and what are the four tools duplicate as the name suggests this option creates a duplicate copy of the selected sprite the sprite whatever sprite we have selected not only cat but you can choose from different slide uh, sorry sprite from the diff, uh, from the sprite list second is delete clicking on this option will delete the selected sprite means totally it will delete the sprite the sprite whatever you will um, use in your project and wanted to delete it you can use the delete button to delete it third is grow as the name suggests this option help us to increase the size of the sprite then shrink the function of the shrink button is opposite to the grow button it will decrease the size of the sprite now adding a new sprite when we open a scratch by default cat sprite is present on the stage as you have seen we can create a new sprite we can import it or use the available sprite in our project by selecting the new sprite option located at the bottom right corner of the stage the options are first choose sprite from library we can click the button sprite library dialog box will open which provide multiple options of sprite second is paint new sprite clicking on this button will open the paint editor window where you can draw a new sprite according to your desire you can use the block palette color pa sorry color palette from the paint editor to color your sprite third upload sprite from file by using the dialog box app scratch sw you can choose or upload the sprite from file fourth is new sprite from camera it opens the web camera of your system and provide a system to click an image and use it as sprite now working with two sprites we have learned how to add a new sprite on the stage let us make a project using more than one sprite what you have to do open the scratch window and remove the cat sprite by right clicking and selecting the delete option now click on the choose sprite from library button the sprite library dialog box will open choose people from category section and select ballerina sprite click ok now select the costume tab you will notice ballerina a ballerina b ballerina c and ballerina d costumes under the ballerina sprite costume list select ballerina a costume and adjust its position on the stage by dragging it to the desired position see figure 7.7 .7. it is ballerina sprite this girl again select the choose sprite from library button and add another sprite with the same process which i have told now so here script for ballerina sprite is when black click block you have to take then wait one second block then say yes brother for one second wait two seconds block then says short for one second repeat for wait one second and next costume so the sprite will be added next is setting the sprite position the scratch stage is 480 pixels wide and 360 pixels high it is divided into x and y grid see here x and y grid the middle of the stage has an x coordinate positioned at 0 0. To find out the x and y positions of the sprite on the stage, click and drag the sprite and observe the change in the coordinates displayed below the stage. Now program to specify the sprite's location. Here see figure 7.9. When flag click will be uh, added here, this is a block. Then forever move minus 100 steps. Wait 1 second, set x to 100, wait 1 second and then change size by 2, change color effect by 25. This is the program to specify the sprite's location. Now moving to our next topic, changing the paint shade. Pen block instructions are used to draw a trail as the sprite moves on the stage. Each pen color has different shades. 
that vary from lightest to darkest as you know now there are different colors just like that pen color has different shades that vary from lightest to darkest white to black the pen shade varies from 0 to 100 that is 0 is the darkest and 100 is the lightest let us observe this with the help of given figure 7.13 here the script is given for changing pen shade repeat 10 change pen shade by 10 set pen size to 10 pen down move 10 steps so by using this program we can change the pen shade now changing the backdrop of the stage the new backdrop icons are used to change the background of the stage background the back see here yellow one is here no? and on that i have written that is back background of this slide now scratch provides four different options to change the backdrop of the stage the options are choose backdrop from library second paint new backdrop third upload backdrop from file fourth new backdrop from camera first is choose backdrop from library for this you have to just click on backdrop library button paint new backdrop you have to click this option and the, here you can create your own backdrop upload backdrop from file you can upload from app scratch.swf dialog box and it will let you upload the backdrop from the file new backdrop from camera selecting this option allows to click an image using the inbuilt camera of our computer system and import it onto the stage as a backdrop so how many options are there to change the backdrop backdrop four choose backdrop from library paint new backdrop upload backdrop from file new backdrop for camera now moving to our next and the last topic of this chapter playing the instruments the sound block provides different blocks to add music to our scratch project yes we can also add music to our project it also provides music based on different mus instruments using the set instrument to one block which block set instruments to one block there are 21 inbuilt instruments from which we can select the desired one the sprite in the figure 7.71 is sissy dance present in people group and backdrop is spotlight stage present in music and dance group so here is the script to play instrument in figure 7.16 what we have to do select the blocks which blocks then flag clicked then forever next costume wait for, for one second next costume when flag clicked forever set instrument to 21 play drum drum 3 for 0.02 beats play drum 7 for 0.2 beats play drum 4 for 0.2 beats play drum 2 for 0.2 beats and so on till 12 to 0.2 beats you can also increase it according to your need for your project now let us have a look on the difficult words of this chapter first is animated a n i m a t e d animated second is graphical g r a p h i c a l graphical third is default d e f a u l t default fourth is circular s e i r c u l a r circular fifth is coordinates c o o r d i n a t e s sixth is backdrops b a c k t r o p s backdrops seventh is duplicate d u p l i c a t e duplicate eighth is string s h r i n k string ninth category c a t e g o r y category tenth rotation r o t a t i o n rotation learn these difficult words write down in your rough copy now moving to the multiple choice question related to this chapter name the box that displays a short description of a block when you click help sprite info or info the collection of stepwise instructions given to a sprite is known as blocks script stage dash button increases the size of the sprite grow shrink or duplicate the value of y coordinate of the stage ranges from 242 minus 240 182 minus 180 or 482 minus 40 next is to record our own sound in a project we need a dash attached to our computer system music system speakers microphone there are dash different instruments to choose from the sound block 20 21 or 28 name the block that makes the sprite disappear from the stage show hide or remove solve this 
go through the video and class see the video again and again if you are having any doubt clear it by seeing it and learn properly